Hey, how's it going, everyone? Bass here. So now that the 17th day and last joint practice with the Saints is now over, let's go over everything and recap the biggest takeaways from today's practice. And if you do want more Packers news analysis and updates and everything training camp, such as recap videos like this one, as well as highlight videos, I did just put out the highlight video from today's practice. If you want to go watch that, click the link right above. But if you are new here and all of that does interest you, please consider going down, clicking the subscribe button, as well as turning on post notifications and not miss any of the videos. So firstly, I wanted to go over the one roster move the Packers did make. They have signed yet another safety. They've signed safety Devontae Cross, an undrafted free agent out of Virginia from this year's draft. He was briefly with the Washington Commanders this offseason, and this makes sense. The Packers have a plethora of injuries at the safety position. Darnell Savage, Dolan Levitt, Ennis Gaines, and Tariq Carpenter. So they obviously had to add another safety after even adding Abernathy last week in order to have enough safeties for these training camps and preseason games. They have also just waived wide receiver Malik Taylor, who was kind of the odd man out. He's been on the roster for years past as the main special teams guy, but he was definitely the odd man out. The Packers have a lot more young talent on the roster now that can contribute on special teams. Um, he was injured a lot of this camp. He just got back, uh, I believe, yesterday where he shed his no-contact jersey, but the Packers have decided to waive him. As for some injury updates, Rashawn Gary did practice today after dropping out midway through yesterday's practice. We had a little bit of a scare there. Didn't know what that was. Everything is fine. And then also Rico Gafford and Danny Davis are out today with ankle injuries. All right, so now moving on to the team portion and we'll start with the offense. The offensive line was the same as yesterday, so no Elton Jenkins in these team portions. It was Josh Nyman, John Runyon, Josh Myers, Jake Hansen, and Royce Newman. And the right side of this offensive line really struggled today, even when Zach Tom came in at right tackle, and that's kind of been an ongoing theme this entire training camp. This right side of the line is definitely struggling. We really need Elton Jenkins back. And the offensive line didn't have much run success as a whole today, not really creating much lanes for the running backs. A lot of stuffed runs today that went no Nowhere. So this offensive line needs to get its stuff together. Um, this whole Hanson-Newman combination on the right side of the line, I think, is just simply not working. I think something does need to change there. Um, we've seen in the preseason game, as well as multiple practices, it's just simply not working. But the biggest takeaway from today's practice on offense was definitely Jordan Love. And he had a very good day of practice, probably his best practice yet. Just quickly going over all the good throws he made today. He had a dime back shoulder throw to Juwan Winfrey for a touchdown. He hit Torre on a crossing route in the red zone for a touchdown. He hit Romeo Dobbs on an out route for a touchdown. He found Amari Rogers over the middle for a gain of 20 during the two-minute drill. And then to end the two-minute drill, he hit Samore Torre on a 50-yard bomb on a corner route where he burned the defense and then went right back to Samore Torre for the two-point conversion for the win and completed it. And Jordan Love and Samore Torre has been a big connection in camp so far. They both had a really nice day today. Love made some really nice throws today and played very well against the Saints defense. I'm excited to see what he will do in the game against the Saints this coming Friday. I do expect a bounce back game, although Jordan Love had three interceptions last game, two of which weren't really on him. Uh, a lot of people looked at that box score and went, oh, Jordan Love had a horrible game, and I don't think he did. I don't think he had a great game by any means, but I don't think he had a horrible game. I do expect a bounce back from that adversity um, in this game this Friday against the Saints, though. As for Aaron Rodgers, he sort of had an off day today. Missed some easy throws, either too high or too low. Was picked off by Marcus May, deep in double coverage. But he did hit Romeo Dobbs on a touchdown and also hit Sammy Watkins on a nice back shoulder touchdown. Definitely a connection that we will see a lot in the regular season. I'm thinking Aaron Rodgers will go Sammy Watkins' way a lot on some of these back shoulder throws. As we saw yesterday, Aaron Rodgers in an interview called out these young wide receivers, and they all stepped up today. A nice day for Romeo Dobbs, Samore Torre, Amari Rodgers, and and Juwan Winfrey. Now moving over to the defensive side of things, the defense yet again with a dominating performance. I mean, this seems to happen every day of camp. The defense just continues to show out. They had a ton of would-be sacks today. I counted 11 would-be sacks today from the Packers defense. The Packers ran a lot of inside linebacker blitzes today where the Saints had no answer for that. Chris Barnes, Devondre Campbell, both with sacks today, and that's exactly what I think they'll do this, this uh, regular season with Devondre Campbell and Quay Walker. I believe we'll see a lot of A-gap pressures from these, from these inside linebackers and different blitz packages from Joe Barry. Rashawn Gary and Preston Smith blowing up plays per usual today, and a lot of the outside linebackers, the young outside linebackers, had a nice day today. Kobe Jones, a really nice day today, has 
had two really nice days of practice. Tipa Naliai and Kingsley Enigbare practice, also practiced well. Enigbare had two sacks and forced a hold. Really nice day by him. He's had a great week uh, stemming from that great preseason performance. He's, he's been practicing really well recently. These young outside linebackers have been on fire recently. And the Packers need this. They need these young outside linebackers to produce because they're going to be playing 35% of snaps as a rotational edge player. Now, a fight did break out today between Eric Stokes and Jarvis Landry. Um, it was a pretty chippy day overall today, so should see a pretty good game coming this Friday. And Jerron Reed, again, disrupting the backfield. He is really looking like the real deal so far. Multiple pressures and stops today. As of right now, this has been a very good signing by Brian Gutekunst. Of course, we haven't played a single regular season game. This is just practice, but it is against the starting offensive lineman of the New Orleans Saints. I'm really hyped for Jerron Reed. I think he'll be a, he'll end up being a very, very nice vet signing by Brian Gutekunst. But overall, the front seven was the story of today's defense on practice, just like yesterday. They dominated the Saints offensive line today, and I don't think the front seven has had a bad practice yet this entire training camp. They are just looking really, really good and continue to disrupt runs and get to the quarterback. Even the second team defense shut down the second team offense from the Saints today. This defense is just looking super, super scary. As I said multiple times, I do believe it will be a top three defense in the NFL. As for special teams, I do have a couple takeaways here. New safety Devontae Cross was getting some snaps as a jammer on the punt return unit and did well. Amari Rodgers and Romeo Dobbs were punt returners one and two and something new today Christian Watson got some reps at punt return we haven't seen that yet now it wasn't against a live coverage because he technically is still on the injury report so he was just fielding punts but that is something new and Tyler Davis yet another false start he had a false start on special teams and offense today after multiple false starts by him yesterday a poor performance Friday in San Francisco Tyler Davis has not had a good week and that doesn't bode well considering they just cut Dominic Daphne I would assume in favor of Tyler Davis so hopefully he can get out of this slump I do like him I do think he, he has a lot of potential but just not a good week for him but those are all the takeaways I have for day 17 of Packers training camp practice as I said this was the last joint practice with the Saints and they do have a game a preseason game against the Saints this coming Friday but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could please leave a like down below, it supports my channel a ton, but I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And as always, go pack, go.